This was just supposed to be an experiment project, but I think it turned out really good. So let me run you guys through the workflow for a project like this. First, collapse the cube into a single vertex, then go ahead and add a subdivision surface modifier. And now we're going to use that vertex and extrude it all the way around the outline of our blueprint to get the basic shape that we need for the guitar. Now let's add some thickness to this outline by extruding it upwards, and we're going to make it look a little bit nicer with smooth shading and a matte cap. Add a small bevel here on this angle just to make it a little bit sharper. And we're going to apply the subdivision surface modifier. And once we do that, we're going to get rid of some of the extra loop cuts that we don't need over here. Now fill in the shape and add a small bevel on the top and the bottom edge loops. Now we're going to do the same thing with the neck of the guitar. So we're just going to use one vertex and extrude it so it has the same shape as the neck and the blueprint. This time we also have to add some thickness. So we're going to extrude it down and we're going to use loop cuts and align the bottom edge with the blueprint from the side. Now just keep following the side view blueprint all the way to the end of the guitar and then go over to top view and make sure that you align the shape with the top part of the blueprint. You might have to use some bevels and some proportional editing to get these curvy parts right, but the more polygons you have here, the more detail it's going to be and the more realistic it's going to look. Now there's something interesting going on with the bevels on the neck of the guitar, and that's because they're so very different in width. So to control the different width on the different parts of the guitar, I use my 3D cursor to scale different parts of the bevel up or down accordingly. Now this is a pretty tricky technique and I would have to make a separate video to show you guys how to use this technique. But it's very useful, I would very much like to make that video. If you guys are interested in seeing that, do let me know in the comments, I'll make a separate video for that. Now just use a plane to make the base of the humbucker, and then we're going to use another slightly smaller plane to make the metal part, which is the actual pickup. Of course, we're going to add some bevels to these edges to make the shape look a little bit softer. And the top part, the metal part of the pickup, has some bigger bevels because it's a pretty rounded shape. Now we have three different types of screws in the pickups, and we're going to model those manually without any fancy tricks. I'm not going to talk about that too much in this video, but if you guys want me to, I can also make a separate tutorial on how to make some cool looking screws in Blender. Now quickly model out a single fret bar, and then duplicate that and place it according to the blueprint. So we're going to duplicate this about 20 times and place it in every place where we see it on the blueprint. You might have to scale it or make it a little bit shorter depending on how wide the fretboard is on that part. Alright, next we're going to make the nut, and first we're going to match the shape using a plane. Then we're going to add some loop cuts, and the loop cuts are going to be where the strings are going to sit on the nut. And we're going to bevel those loop cuts just to get some more edges. And then afterwards, we're going to use those edges to make a smooth gap, and this is where the string is going to sit. And then we're just going to extrude out the rest of the nut and fill in the shape. Now the tuning picks have a slightly awkward shape, so we're going to have to align our view with the face on top of the guitar head, and press Shift plus Number Pad 7 to align the view with the face. Then we're going to add a new circle, and in that little menu in the bottom left, we're going to align the circle with our view, and then we're just going to put it into place and extrude the shape of the tuning peg. Then we're going to delete some of the vertices on the sides of the tuning peg, and we're going to slide around some of the other vertices to make a more circular hole. We're going to bridge the edge loops to fill that part in, we're going to add a bevel, and we're going to use some loop tools to kind of relax the shape and get a more circular hole. And then we're just going to use an array modifier to duplicate this tuning peg a couple of times. Now with our view still aligned with the face on the top of the guitar, we're going to add a plane just to get the shape of the cover for the thrust rod. Then we're going to take some screws in the pickup and we're going to snap them onto this shape using our 3D cursor. And we're going to take the angle from the tuning pegs and apply that same angle to the screws. And then we're just going to duplicate the screws a couple of times and put it in all the other places. Now the bridge is a pretty tricky shape to make because it's so complicated, but we're going to use a circle and extrude it out to make the feet of the bridge. And then I'm going to make this little shape here, and I'm going to use an array modifier on it to make this kind of screw looking thing. I'm going to play around with some more circles to get the rest of the shape here. And then we're going to make this half cylinder and extrude it out to get the whole shape of the bridge. And then we're going to extrude some faces uh, on the top of this shape. We're going to extrude them down, and this is where the saddles are going to sit. Let's make a hole here on the side, and we're going to put in another screw there. We're going to cut in some holes with the boolean modifier here. This is where the screws are going to be for the saddles. I'm going to model one saddle, and I'm going to duplicate it, and we're going to have to play around with them and arrange them differently. I looked at my own guitar to see exactly how these should be arranged, but it doesn't really matter too much. You can do whatever you like. Now there's another part here in the back of the bridge, and first we're going to make a foot just like before, just like we did for the bridge. We're going to add a screw on top, then we're going to add in a plane and just make a shape like this. We're going to extrude this out, we're going to round the edges a little bit, and then we're going to extrude this round face on top. Now unfortunately some of my footage got deleted here, but here's a photo of the final shape. Now we're going to use a curve to make a path for the string, and then later we're going to use this curve with a curve modifier. 
we're going to extrude this curve all the way over the bridge, then we're going to take it to the front and take it over the nut, and then we're going to have to wrap it around one of the tuning pegs. Now we can do this in a clean way by creating a vertex and then using a screw modifier to create this kind of coil. And then we're going to turn that mesh into a curve and we're going to connect it with the curve that we just created for the string. And we're also going to extrude this little tip that sticks out from the side. Now we're going to make a hollow cylinder in the back here and then we're going to use this together with an array and a curve modifier to create the actual string. Now we want this shape to be pretty short so it gives us a smooth result in the back. And when we finish that, we're going to duplicate the string a couple of times and we're going to mirror it to the other side of the guitar. We're also going to go to the back of the strings and make this little ball in the back of each string to hold it in place. Alright, let's go to the back here. Let's use a plane and a circle to make the socket. And we're going to put a screw on every corner of this piece. Then at the bottom of the guitar, we're going to make this kind of parallelogram shape. We're going to bevel the corners and we're also going to add a couple of screws there. Alright, now it's time to start adding some materials. So first let's paint the body of the guitar white and then we're going to add some of these thin black edges all the way around the body of the guitar. We're going to make the base of the pickup black and we're going to add this kind of gold or bronze color to the actual pickup and we're going to use the same color to paint all the other metal pieces on the guitar. The pick guard is going to be black and the screws on it are going to be gold and we're going to add a roughness map to the metal material just to make it look a little bit more messy and realistic. Now we're pretty much going to use the same materials on all the other parts of the guitar. We're going to paint the face of the guitar black. The fretboard is going to be a dark brown kind of color. And the frets are going to be a metallic silver or chrome color. Now I'm going to texture paint the Gibson logo. And then we're just going to prepare the lighting and prepare the scene. And finally we're going to render our image. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something as well. I know it was a pretty short video and it wasn't a very detailed tutorial, but if you enjoyed it then drop a like and let me know in the comments and then I'm going to be able to make some more videos in the same style. But thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys around.